Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is a question. Why is she still in your mind? It might be a year ago already the breakup and she's still like fully there coming into your field, having fantasies about her. Why is this happening? The reason is very simple. It's because we are the result of our conditioning. So if you have been spending a year or a few months or even more with a woman and that woman had a massive impact in your life because you had sex, you connected, you bonded, you had conversations, maybe fights, maybe deep moments of love, travels. Lots of memories are in your field around her. She became the anchor point or, or the channel for certain qualities, for the qualities of love, for the qualities of pleasure, for the qualities of connection. She has been your mirror for an extended period of time. Of course, a part of you is still polarizing on her. A part of you is still like creating neural pathways, associations, emotional associations around her. And so that conditioning stays in your mind until you recondition yourself from another place. And so it's pretty natural for her to still be in your mind. So something that will help you move on and in a way dissolve the presence that she might have in your mind it is to do what I said earlier, right? In other videos, remove the traces of her presence in your personal environment. Remove the pictures and videos or things that you might have in your field that stop you from being emotionally free from her. Make choices that are no longer the result of what she wanted, but the result of what you want. Bringing another lover or another potential partner in your field will also help you move on. Why? Because the moment you have a point of reference for the love, for sex, for connection, for romantic energy with another woman, that woman becomes the new point of reference for these qualities. And so you're the power that your ex used to be, because she was the point of reference. She was the fountain of connection for these energies, for these qualities in your field. So only somebody else is the connection. And so when the need, you know, the need for love emerges, rises, what is happening in your system? You naturally crave for that. And if you crave and naturally in the past, your ex used to be the one you went to for these qualities, of course she's going to be in your mind. Of course you are going to be remembering her. So clearing your space and resetting yourself from a new place, starting to anchor these qualities in other people, is part of the healing process. Having her in your mind, there is nothing wrong with that. You might remember her presence and the f her field in your, in your energy might feel really sweet. It doesn't have to be negative. Sometimes you remember your ex and you go like, wow, you know, you feel her energy. You feel a heart opening. Maybe you see her in town, you see her somewhere and it's like, wow, this feeling of merging, of healing, of connection. Maybe there's still lots of love there. And sometimes the field can be toxic. Sometimes it can be anger, irritation, pressure towards each other, hostility. And so you have all this possible range of emotions and feelings around her. And so when she's still in your mind, you know, it's not the presence, her presence in your mind might be actually a beautiful thing. It's not necessarily negative. But what has to be removed is the power that she used to have over you. In the process of building a relationship, in the process of coupling, there is this exchange of power, right? You start somehow having the right to control a little bit each other's lives. A little bit. Not necessarily a lot, sometimes a lot. Sometimes the controlling patterns are really strong in a connection, in a relationship. Sometimes they are re relatively weak in existence. But so when you uncouple, when you break up, when you step out of a relationship, what you have to do is consciously reclaim your power. And so what you are going to do is remove the controlling power that you used to have over your life. And so you can have this memory, this beautiful memory, this beautiful energetic presence in your field, and this not affect your choices. It's just like bliss, it's grace. 
it's beautiful, it's love. And that can naturally happen once you start reclaiming your power and gaining back a sense of sovereignty over your existence. Literally, it's an opening of your power. It's like you reclaim that, and then her presence in your field is no longer a source of control. And so when that happens, it releases something. You still witness the memories of what you used to have together, but they no longer hurt. They no longer influence your choices. They are no longer toxic for your system. They are just a blissful, positive, beautiful presence. <laughs>